Guyana is not heading for a disaster. We are living in one, only to get worse. Look at what the Bank of Guyana report is telling us. In the first six months of 2024, Guyana paid 35 million US in interest alone. Just to service the loans we borrowed from overseas lending institutions. And had the nerve to tell us it's because the interest rates went up. Imagine that. 35 million US in oil profits gone <laughs> in interest alone in six months. By year end, it will be another 35 million, bringing the total to 70 million in interest alone for 2024. On the debts we have hanging on our heads. <laughs> and yet, five years into pumping oil, we haven't capped the interest rates or equity charges on the oil companies' investments out there. Nor have we ring fence any of the oil projects out there. Who else could pull off such a failure in an oil rich country and holding press conferences every week smiling? Tell me. Tell me, guys. Had both the government and opposition only ring fence those oil projects? Guyana would have already paid off its debt in which this country would have been on a development drive on much to this region with its people already living large just by ring fencing those projects alone but no eh -eh. instead they will be facing the overseas banks again next year for more loans paying more interests and boast about development and progress in this country from those loans. Find me leaders who can walk around smiling and not putting our own meters at the pumps, especially when you're dealing with a crook of the highest order named ExxonMobil. Have a nice day. They're coming for your finger next year. And please, don't forget to turn off your lights come October 1st at 7 p.m. just for five minutes. Let's send a strong message to these geniuses we have as leaders that we can't take this sellout any longer and that we will fight for what is ours. I hope you with me.